Hi, I'm David Stein of Money for the Rest of Us, and today we're talking about how to balance your future and your present self. University of Chicago economist Richard Thaler conducted a fascinating experiment on how humans make decisions between their present and future selves. He presented the following choices to the study's participants. They could, in the one study, they could choose between one apple today or two apples tomorrow. And for other participants, they were asked, they could choose one apple in one year or two apples in one year plus one day. Most participants chose one apple today over two apples tomorrow, as it's human nature to value the bird in hand over two in the bush. But very few participants chose one apple in a year when they could get two apples in one year plus a day. When the temporal distance is extended, we find it easier to wait for a more valuable item. The incremental pain of delayed gratification is much less between two choices in the distant future. More difficult is the choice between getting something today versus tomorrow, as our emotions and feelings dominate the decisions rather than our logical selves. We can almost taste that apple or piece of chocolate cake. Choices that benefit our present self often win over those that benefit our future self because we cannot feel our future feelings. As Mark Spitznagel points out in his book, The Tao of Capital, he writes, we weight the future and past subjectively and disproportionately such that like the warnings on the rear view mirror, they seem fuzzier and further away in proximity to the present. The irony is even when we think we are making a decision based on how we think we will feel in the future, those decisions are biased by how we feel today. In his book, Stumbling on Happiness, Daniel Gilbert writes, we assume what we will feel as we imagine the future is what we'll feel when we get there. But in fact, what we feel as we imagine the future is often a response to what is happening in the present. As we get older, our ability to make choices that strike a more equitable balance between our present and future selves improves. Spitznagel writes, it's the young adult in the deep end of the temporal pool who lives like there is no tomorrow, while older folk who have far fewer actuarial years ahead are better able to make intertemporal choices that prepare for a future, perhaps that may very well exceed their own lifespan, thus thinking and acting for the benefit of intergenerational fitness and advantage. Now here are two ways we can make better choices as we balance the present and the future. First, we can decide now before getting that next raise or bonus that the new money will go to savings rather than be spent. Ideally, we will automate the transfer of funds into savings so we will never see the money in our checking account. How easy it is to increase our consumption and elevate our lifestyle as our income rises. Our present emotional self quickly adapts to the higher standard of living. By deciding today to maintain our existing consumption patterns as income increases and not allow ourselves to emotionally taste of the new bounty, we'll find it easier to save for the future. Second, we can't feel our future feelings. And even if we can imagine how we might feel in the future, that exercise is biased by our present feelings. Consequently, there's a simple way to determine how we might feel in the future about a decision we are contemplating today. We can find someone who is having the experience or made the decision we are considering and ask them how they feel. Since they are currently feeling what we might feel, they can be surrogates for our future selves. We can ask people how they like living where we are considering moving or working in a profession we are contemplating. How do they feel now that they are retired or switched careers? In a sense, we time travel as we get an accurate sense of what life might be like in the future from someone who is actually living it today. So hey, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you have comments about balancing your present and future self, you can go ahead and leave those in the comments.